Good morning, students. Good afternoon, students. Today's topic is credit cards. Uh, we are covering in our uh, AQR class uh, the first part, which is validating identification numbers. And the topic for today is credit card numbers. Okay. Identification numbers are present everywhere in society. Today's identification numbers are more sophisticated than those introduced years earlier. For example, social security numbers. Today's numbers have a check digit to partially ensure that they have been correctly scanned or entered into a computer. Credit cards have 16 digit numbers of which the first 15 digits identify the credit card and the 16th digit is the check digit. The following uh, picture that I will make here will let you know uh, how these numbers work. Okay, so as I told you, we have 16 digits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So if you count, we have in total 16 digits. Okay, so how do they work? Okay, I will divide this digits in this part, the first one, the last one, okay? And then I have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, okay? These five numbers and then nine numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so what do they do? Okay, in the, current, the case of the first one is called M, I, I, okay? The next uh, five is the I, I, N, I, I, N, and then we have the account number, the account number, and as you know, the last one is the check digit, okay? Just to let you know that M, I, I, this stands for major industry identifier major industry identifier and i i n stands for issuer issuer identifier identifier number Okay, so we have the major industry identifier and the issuer identifier number, okay? So once again, you have 16 digits. The first one, the first one is just for the major industry identifier. The next five are the issuer identifier number. And then the next nine is the account number. And the last one is the check digit. Just as a reminder, I will write nine here because I have nine numbers there and five here because I have five numbers there okay so this is how it works okay now let's work uh, this is almost the same as the barcodes okay so whenever you see a credit card most of them especially does Visa and MasterCard are made of 16 digits now you know how they work okay now how do you know if one card uh, is valid or not okay it's in the number okay then we can also determine the last number which is the check digit and the check digit is important because even though it doesn't prevent like fraud itself it can tell when your uh, when your number is entered uh, manually uh, because of this check digit, we can see if we have a mistake or error when typing the number, okay? I have four examples to, to determine the validity and other two to determine the check digit. Okay, so I will start with the first one. 